Greetings and welcome to the Friday Morning Vodcast podcast. What do you fear? Hey, all you Billy Bumblers out there. Um, we've got some snacky treats to try this morning. Some stuff that I found when I was out at the store yesterday. I think we're starting to get into the um, spring treats this year. I'm a little wet. I mean, that really is the funny thing about snacky treats is the fact that they could release all these flavors year round. For example, let's take a look at the first one here. Key Lime Kit Kats. Um, I've been talking to a few friends actually who have been doing Kit Kat reviews or talking about doing Kit Kat reviews. My friend Kyle and I have been kind of just kind of chit chat back and forth about maybe getting together to do something over, you know, Zoom and filming some Kit Kat reviews or doing something together. I think that'd be kind of fun. And, uh, what else do we got? Uh, no, not the throat sweepers. Uh, lemonade. What, are, what the fuck are they? Lemonade stand Twinkies, when you really need something gross in your mouth. Ah, these cannot be good. Like, we're, we're combining sweet and sour. Well, I guess that kind of works, especially with chicken. Sweet and sour chicken is delicious. Ah, I meant to record the second camera this morning. How are you guys liking the uh, vodcast plays? I know Herbie's into it. He's got a character named after him. Um, I'm having a lot of fun doing those. So before we bust into the treats this morning, the spring treats, um, I wanted to talk briefly about moving. Um, there's nothing on the horizon. Last night, I, well, I had mentioned yesterday that I was going to talk to a real estate agent today. I think I might have. I might have cut it out of the episode because it was kind of boring. But um, they reached out last night. Doreen, Doreen Jackson. Uh, here's the house that, uh, yeah, <laughs> this mirror situation fucks me up every time. Here's the house that we were looking at. It's really neat, isn't it? It's like, a, it's like a double domed house. If you looked at it from above, I'm sure it would look like you have a set of boobs in your yard. Do you remember that Naked Gun movie? Well, not that Naked Gun movie. The one with Leslie Nielsen where he's driving along and his friends taking him home from the airport. Not going to be easy. Everywhere I look, something reminds me of her. And that was one of my favorite movies as a kid growing up. Um, well, not as a kid. I was already probably a teenager when that came out. What year did it come out? Boom. That's the power of the internet. That is the power of Google. But here's my point. It needs a new roof. And as you can see, that roof is quite intricate. So when I was on the phone with her, this is what I asked. Sounds awesome. Hey, weird question. But how much do you think that roof is going to get is going to cost to replace? <laughs> Yeah, I had to know. I had to know how much that thing was going to cost. It was already out of our hands. We couldn't get it. Um, there was multiple offers before 11 o'clock last night, she told me. She said, houses, it's impossible to buy a house in New England right now unless you are ready to go and just make that, you know, commitment to buying a house. And so what I've decided is I'm going to need all my friends from around the world to move to Virginia because I can't get out. I just can't get out, man. They keep pulling me back in again, and I can't get out. So, come on, guys. Let's also welcome Dana. He's a good friend of mine, and uh, we used to play in a band together, and he's a great guy. And so I'm glad he's, he's joined us on our journey along the road to whatever this is, road to a thousand. See, we're creeping closer and closer every day. Some days I get super discouraged. I wake up, and I'm like, just one more subscriber, just one more subscriber. One more gets us that much closer to a thousand. That's one less person we need to, I don't want to say convince, <laughs> to join the channel. I'll just shut up about that for now and eat a Kit Kat. Uh, key lime pie has never been one of my favorite flavors in anything. Not in the pie itself, nor in any little treat that you can purchase at the store that's flavored with it. When did that become a thing? Does anybody know? If so, put it in the comments below. When did artificial flavoring become a thing? Like, I'm sure it has to have been, if I had to, if I had to guess, 1918. I don't know. It's, it's such a weird thing that we want other things to taste like something else. Like, have we run out of, it's, it's, I guess it's kind of like movies. Like, you know, people are just rebooting things at this point. This is just rebooted candy. Like, we've seen this before. It's a Kit Kat. 
It's a rebooted flavor. It's not candy. There it is. Very light, minty color. Smells a little chocolatey. Give it a go here. Let's take a look inside. Oh, yeah. It's a kick. Uh. Are you using Hydrox in an Oreo cup? Jesus Christ, it's the end of the f***ing world. <laughs> Do you like them though? Do you like them better than Oreos? Or just the same or less than? Probably better. Really? Flavor, when it comes to flavoring the cookie, cookie. most stuff. <laughs> you look like a disease. <laughs> I'm thinking because my face is brown. No, not because <laughs> your face is brown, you're racist. It's got brown on it right Well, here. you have hair dye on your face. Because my face Griffin, is... Griffin, yeah, because your face... <laughs> you know, not because your fucking face is brown. And Griffin's over here eat, telling me that goddamn Hydrox are better racist. than the Oreo. You're racist, Hitler! <laughs> I can tell you where to put it. I want you to turn that son bitch sideways, polish it up real good, and shove it up your Rudy Poo candy ass! I wouldn't go so far as to say atrocious. Putrid? Certainly. Um, no, 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 not putrid either. If you're into keep, if you're into key lime pie, you might like it. I'm not. I don't hate it. That doesn't really taste like key lime pie. It tastes like just gross. <laughs> Um, I don't want to knock Kit Kat, though, because they definitely made an effort here. If I had to score it, I'd give it a six. Mediocre. A little above average, because the originality of it. That's not something I've tasted a lot. It's probably because I don't like key lime pie. Hello? Something is going on upstairs. <laughs> I can hear cats running across the floor like it's the end of the world. Twinkies is not a lot to smell. Hey, how do you open your Twinkie box? I know there's this huge flap in the front where you can, you know, do the three flaps and... Which, which is kind of a nightmare. It's a pain in the ass. Like, that's why I like the Oreo flap. It's just easy. It's accessible. This shit is all terrible for you, too. I want you guys to know that I never finish any of this food. It, usually go, it either goes into Carol's work so that they can enjoy it, or sometimes the kids will eat some of it, but... All in all, I really don't want them eating this either. Yeah, it's not much of a smell there. Jesus Christ, lemonade stand Twinkies. Okay. Mm. I gotta spread this out. I won't tell you that was good because it wasn't. I thought it was funny to put the whole thing in my mouth. Then I thought I was going to choke for a minute. I didn't. Then I realized how many calories are going to go down my gullet as I swallow it. Let's find it. Oh, oh, hang on. I think I can read that one. Whoa. Serving size is two cakes? And two cakes equals 280 calories. Actually, that's not too, too bad. I mean, all things considered. I probably only had about 20 of those calories. Not much of it made its way down the back of my throat. Boy, my throat sure is scratchy now, though. I really could use something that would, like, sweep the back of my throat and really get all this stuff out of here. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? The product right here. Oh, this is the classic version. This is the classic version of the throat sweet sweeper. A very good friend of mine sent me that, but I don't know if Jess Carlozzi wants you to know that she sent me that, so I won't I won't let you know here on the podcast. But um This is a this is a real fucking touchy subject here, okay? So I don't know how to get to where I want to go with this without without it getting dangerously tiptoeing around the racist border, and I am not racist. I am not a racist, sir. Sir, I am not a racist. I am not a fucking racist, sir. Sir, I am not a fucking racist. Okay. I'm gonna go straight to the point. If you guys aren't watching them, 
you should go watch it. It's on uh, Amazon Prime, and it is amazing. Amazing in the sense that the cinematography is some of the most beautiful camera work I've ever noticed or seen on film. It's, it takes a lot. It takes something real special for me to notice and be like, oh, who the fuck did this? The story is one of those stories where you're always just pissed off, but in a good way, you're like, you know, this has got to come around. This has got to get better. There's no way this is going down like this. I don't want to ruin anything for you. And it's good uh, in the sense where it makes you feel uncomfortable as a white person. And I think we deserve to feel a little uncomfortable every now and again. And um, after the first two episodes, like it's one of those cringeworthy moments where you just like, uh, not moments, just episodes where you're like, fuck, that's fucked up that people had to live through that and still have to live through that. But I don't want to get on my high horse today. I just wanted to go from my throat sweepers into you guys should check out them. It probably wasn't the best segue, and I apologize if I offended anybody. This certainly is, was not my intentions. It's, it's just, I, it was a bad segue, okay? Sometimes I nail them, and sometimes I, who knows, this is going to make the light of day. Is this on here? Are you watching this right now? I hope you are, because I'd like to think I have the integrity and fortitude to stand up for shit I want to talk about. I don't know. Well, before I get into rambling, I'm going to let you guys go. I need to get this all set up to do a Let's Play for um, Scum. I hope you guys are loving that game. I think it's a lot of fun. I'm a weirdo, though. If you guys are loving watching these as much as I'm loving creating them, please consider smashing that like button, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliver, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Vodcast Podcast. Take care, and boy howdy.